Alright fam, so today I'm going to be doing my April TBR jar picks. Did I do any for March? I don't remember. Um, I don't think I did any for March. Oh well. I don't have any plans for April except me and Kaz over at Cats and Camera are hopefully going to buddy read ghost songs at some point. Uh, this is like an indie book um, and... It's about, like, this gay musical prodigy who gets bullied at a private school, and then his best friend will talk to him, so he's trying to, like, uh, talk to his friendly poltergeist, um, and there's a puzzle that could lead to buried treasure, uh, and, yeah. And then, let us see the other two books that I will potentially be reading in April. I say potentially. I'm reading Spell Hacker right now. Um, but, oh, and y'all know I love my glass. My Song of Achilles glass. It's my TBR jar now, but let's see. What is this one? Oh, I picked two! Oh my god, y'all. Oh my god. I picked ghost songs. <laughs> so, there we go. Done. Definitely reading ghost songs this month. <laughs> and the other one is the graveyard book, which I've already read. I read this for Zodiacathon, and I guess I forgot that I put it in here. So yeah, I've read um, the graveyard book. And I've already planned on reading ghost songs, so should I just pick two more? Let's do it. So, let's see. This is... One. This, this is two. Okay, let me go. Let me go. Let's see what they are. We have Queen of the Conquered. And we have... The rest of us just live here, which I just got. Wow. TBR jar coming in clutch with the new books here. Well, I got Queen of the Conquered in December with, like, all of the other books that are in here. The rest of us just live here by Patrick Ness. I'm um, pretty sure. Yeah, um, not everyone has to be the chosen one. Uh, what if you're not an indie kid fighting zombies or whatever? This new thing is with the blue lights and the death. What if you're like Mikey who just wants to graduate before someone blows up the high school? Again. Sometimes you just have to discover how even an ordinary life can be extraordinary. So we have the rest of us just live here. And then we have Queen of the Conquered, which is by Case and Calendar, um, who wrote, this is kind of an epic love story. Did read that. Kind of liked it. I know a lot of people didn't like it, um, but I think I liked it enough for a, for a, a gay contemporary. Um, but yeah, uh, this one is not a gay contemporary. This is like adult, I think. Um, it says, uh, I want to prove to them that they were wrong to underestimate me. I want to see them burn for what they did to my family. And then the little blurb, that's, so that's like the little blurb. And then the little description synopsis thingy is, On the islands of Hans Lolik, Sigourney Rose was the only survivor when her family was massacred by the colonizers. Now the king of the islands has declared that he will choose his successor from among eligible noble families, and Sigourney is ready to exact her revenge. So yeah, it's a powerful story of colonialism, conquest, and revenge. Um, oh, it's a duology. That's cool. Hopefully I like the first book. I know Brody over at E2 Brody really liked this book. So um, I'm looking forward to reading it. Because we <laughs> never read the same books. Um, it's really funny, actually. Um, so yeah, um, hopefully I'll get to this. I wanted to film a video, and this is the only thing I could think of to film. So there you go. Um, two books from my physical TBR that I am hopefully going to be reading in April. Um, and yeah, looking forward to it. Maybe I will do another one of these if I want more books. 
Or maybe I'll just pick books randomly. I don't know. Um, we'll find out. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.